today for you all I'm going to be filming a haul video of a lot of items that I hauled over the past few weeks and this is kind of a spring into summer haul because a lot of the things I got in this haul video I'll be using in the summer and a lot of the other things I got are just some fun items that I wanted to try that are from like spring collections and summer collections and stuff so I love haul videos and I'm sure you guys love haul videos as well um, so if you guys are interested in seeing what I got in my most recent shopping trips then you can go ahead and stay tuned so I'm gonna start with all of the clothing I got and then I'm gonna go ahead and move into all of the beauty type of items so the first two things I got are both pairs of high-waisted shorts and I already filmed a video about these high-waisted shorts but I figured I would talk about them again and they are just so cute and I'm obsessed with the trend of high-waisted shorts so the first pair of high-waisted shorts is this really cute pair I picked up from Hollister well I think they're really cute and they're just these really super high-waisted shorts they almost cover my belly button and they're this really pretty kind of teal green color a really nice stretchy jegging material so they're super comfortable and they're just really nice I think they're gonna be so much fun to wear this spring and summer I just think they're such a cute color and I just can't wait to get more use out of them once it gets warmer. And then the second pair of high-waisted shorts I picked up is this denim pair, and these are from a store called Garage, and you can order off of Garage's website. I know, um, I'm not sure where they have store locations, but I know you can order offline. I just think these are such cute high-waisted shorts. They're super high-waisted, just like the Hollister ones, and they're just a really nice denim color. I like that they're not really distressed, and I like the wash on them, and I like how they're cuffed up at the bottom. They're extremely comfortable, and I really like how high they are, and I just love the wash and everything about them. So I was really happy that I found these on Garage's website and picked them up because I think they're so cute and I can't wait to get so much use out of them this summer season. The next thing I picked up is a dress from Target and I actually wore this for my cousin's bridal shower yesterday and I think it is so cute. So it is this navy and white polka dotted dress and I just think it is adorable. I think this nautical kind of navy and white print is perfect for the summer season because it always reminds me of summer navy and white. So it's just your basic kind of comfy little sundress. It kind of has a circle skirt. It's not bodycon and it has a very slight circle skirt to it and then it has buttons down the front and just a scoop neck with some normal straps. So I think this dress is so cute and it's really easy to dress up or dress down. You can make it really fancy or really casual, which I really like about it. And just the color scheme on it totally reminds me the of something. The next two items I picked up are bathing suits. So the first bathing suit I picked up, I picked up from Hollister as well. And it is this really cute bathing suit. So this is the top of the bathing suit and it is the same color as the shorts I got. So it's kind of a bandeau top, but it has straps. And then it has this really cute ruffle crocheted overlay that I think is so cute. I love this type of top for this summer and I've been noticing this top a lot in magazines and just in bathing suit collections for this summer and I just think this is so cute especially for someone who is not very chesty up top like myself this really just helps like accentuate that area kind of a little more and I just think these tops are so cute for the spring and summer so this is the top that I got and then these are the bottoms that go along with it they are royal blue underneath and then they have that same crocheted kind of teal green color on top and then they have the little Hollister bird. But I just think this bathing suit is so cute and I can't wait to get more wear out of it this summer. I think it is a great color and I just love that ruffly overlay and just the way the top is. So I'm really happy that I went ahead and picked up this suit. So there's a story with this next bathing suit. I saw this bathing suit in Victoria's Secrets catalog. It's part of the Victoria's Secret pink line and that had to be back in February. And when I saw the bathing suit, I was like, I need to have this bathing suit. I can tell everyone's gonna want this bathing suit this year and everybody did. This bathing suit sold out so fast online and in stores. So when I finally found the suit, I jumped on it right away and I picked it up right when I found it because I knew it was gonna be a really hot item for this year. So this is what the top looks like. So it's this really pretty kind of hot core coral color and the top is kind of the same as the Hollister one. It has that ruffly overlay and then it has little like cut out flowers in it which I think is so cute and then it has little tie straps which I think is really adorable. So I totally love this top. I think it's so cute and I just love this new kind of top that's coming out with the bandeau with the straps and then the ruffly overlay. I think it's so cute. And then these are the bottoms that go along with it. They're just that same coral, hot coral pink color and they say love pink on the back of them which I think is really cute. So I just really love this suit and I'm so happy that I finally got my hands on it and I cannot wait to wear it this spring and summer season. I think it's so cute and I really just love the style of the top and everything. So now we are going to go ahead and move into the beauty part of this haul which I know probably all of you guys have been waiting for. So the first thing I picked up is just an essential item that I needed because I was running out of it and I picked up the Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10 because as many of you know this is the only product I use for fighting my acne now. So without it my skin would completely die and I would probably die without it so I was just running out so I went ahead and picked up another Another one of these. The next item I picked up is a lip product and I'm actually wearing it on my lips today and I love it. And it is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Sweetheart. So I love the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Smitten, which is kind of this shade of color but it's a little bit darker.
darker of a fuchsia and I really like to wear it in the fall and winter time. So I decided to pick up a more spring version of that and that was the color Sweetheart. So it's just a really pretty kind of neon-y hot pink color and I love the trend of neon lips for this spring. So when I found this color I thought it was perfect because it really kind of follows that trend and it's really nice and neon-y. And I also love the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. The texture of them is really cool and they really last a really long time without drying out my lips and the color payoff really stays nicely. Since I already love them so much, when I found it in this color, which I thought would be really nice for the springtime, I was totally all over that. The next three items I picked up are nail polishes because as many of you know, I'm a nail polish junkie. I'm obsessed with painting my nails and doing my nails and all that jazz. So I picked up three nail polishes and two of them I picked up are Essie. So the first one I picked up is this Essie nail polish from their new summer collection I believe and it is in the color Sunday Fun Day. So as you guys can see I kind of really like the coral trend for this year and I just think this is such a great coral. It has a light shimmer in it that's kind of the same color as the polish which I like that it's not a cream finish. I think it makes the polish more fun since it kind of has a shimmer to it. And I just think this is such a great coral color. I think it's going to look really sharp once I'm tan and I think it'll look like really cute on my toes and stuff and on my nails. And then the second Essie polish I picked up is a color that was raved about on the YouTube community last year around this time and that is the Essie polish in the color Turquoise and Caicos and I think this is such a beautiful color. As many of you know I really love mint nail polishes. I just recently picked up Essie's Mint Candy Apple and I love it and this is very similar to that but it has more of a teal undertone rather than a minty undertone. This really reminds me of China Glaze's For Audrey. It's probably the closest dupe to that so it really reminds me of a Tiffany's box. I just love the Essie Spring polishes. They always come out with the best spring colors in my opinion. So I was really happy that I could finally get my hands on them. And then the last polish I picked up was a free gift because I had enough Ulta rewards to pick it up. And it is this Ulta polish in the color Ultra Violet Femme. So I think this is just such a stunning and shocking and fun color and I don't own any other polish like this. And I really love purple nail polishes so when I saw it I was totally like let's get it, let's do it. It's for free too so I might as well. So it's this really cool kind of metallic-y purple color and it's almost a neon purple which I think is really fun because neons are really big for this spring and summer. So it's just a really cool color with kind of a metallic finish. And I just thought it would look really awesome in the spring and summertime because it's kind of a dark color but it's really like shocking and neon-y and metallic as well. So the last two items I picked up are a shampoo and conditioner. And right now you guys are probably going to laugh at me because I just made a video on how I style my hair. But right now I am in the process of wanting to grow out my hair. And now disclaimer, I am one of those people that constantly wants to change their hair. I will cut it and then a week later be like, let's change it. Since my hair is so short, there's really no other way I can go except shorter right now and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and grow it out and probably in a few weeks I'll be like, let's cut it all off again. That's just the type of person I am with my hair. So I was researching some shampoos that are supposed to help your hair grow, which doesn't really work probably. Shampoos can't really help your hair grow, but I thought why not try one? Maybe it'll help. So this shampoo and conditioner duo is the ones I heard the best reviews about and they are the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow shampoo and conditioner. So I read really good reviews about these. So I thought, why not give them a try? I might as well use something that says it's going to help my hair grow. So I tried these once and I really like them. They really made my hair feel really moisturized and soft and just gave it like a strong feeling. And it also gave it volume as well. And what I really like about these shampoos and conditioners is they're sulfate free. So they're really good for your hair and they smell really good and they just made my hair feel awesome. So I don't know if these will actually help my hair grow. They probably won't, but I thought why not give them a try. But if you guys want to know an update on these in like a few months and see if my hair is growing, definitely let me know in the comments below because I would love to film like an updated video of these shampoos and conditioners for you. But I thought these would be really fun to try and maybe help my hair grow. Okay guys, so that was everything I picked up in my most recent couple weeks of hauling. I would definitely love to know what you guys like to buy when you go shopping, so definitely film a video response to this video of your most recent haul video because whenever you guys do that, it always inspires me to go try different stores or something or try different products. Also, I would love to know your guys' favorite online stores to shop at because I'm always looking for new online boutiques and just kind of cool stores to shop at. So if you could let me know in the comments below. That would be awesome. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave any video requests you guys have down in the comments below because I love to film what you guys want to see and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys!